Hey guys, it's good to see you again. Today we're putting a big flat shelf on the front of this forge here. Uh, right now it doesn't have any way to hold your work, so it's kind of annoying to use and I don't use that much because of it. So what we're gonna do is head out to the back there, grab a piece of eighth inch, eighth inch thick plate steel, and we're just basically gonna weld it right onto the front here. We might cut a little bit of kind of like an upside down buttress to give it a bit of support, or maybe we'll just put supports underneath it. Not quite sure yet, but uh, the best way to figure out what we're gonna do, I find is basically just to go out and start doing it. So that's what we're gonna do. off these old welding rods and I'm going to weld them up here so we have a perimeter. That way if I want to put round things on here they won't just there's no way it's going to be perfectly level so this way they won't just fall off. You know what? This is taking too long. I'm gonna hook up my belt sander for the table saw. We're just gonna eyeball how this lines up with that belt up there. All right, now we're ready to start the grinder and clean up those welding rods. No. Oh. Not tracking very straight. Of course, that's why. Our adjustment nut is caught. Well, I guess we're gonna have to fix that, huh? I don't know why, but I had it in the other way, upside down. This should do the trick, I think. Okay, let's turn it on and see what that does.
for this video. I uh, hope you liked it. It should be pretty quick and short. And now we've got a nice shelf on the front of our forge so we can put stuff and not have it roll away on us. Actually, we should probably test that. Find something round and see if it's going to roll. Here we go. Round sockets. I think that's a pretty tasteful addition. It's definitely going to make my life way easier. We should be able to, of course, of course it's going to fall off right when I'm shooting. Oh well, like this. I think that's going to be great.